Hello, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's well. I'm just waiting a couple more minutes before we start as more people are, are joining. But we will start in a minute. Please do introduce yourself in the chat so that we know where you're from. I am um, Alexandra Newlands from the, the Secretariat of the Civil Society Network. I'm based in, in London in the UK. Hi, Karina, Ismail. Hi, Alexandra. And hi, everyone. Perfect. A few more joining, but I think we'll be able to start soon. Great. Well, I think we can start and people can, can join in. What I will do is paste the link to the campaigns toolkit in the chat so that we can all follow together, but I will share my screen. Uh, I will ask my colleagues, uh, Barbara and Michelle, to please um, add in uh, welcome people. Well, I mean, um, accept people as they, they join the meeting room, as I will be um, sharing my screen. Thanks, I made you co-host. Great, well, ev welcome everyone um, again, for those who have joined. Um, my name is Alexandra Newlands from the Sun Civil Society Network Secretariat. So I'm based in London. Uh, some of my colleagues here uh, are in, uh, in the meeting and I welcome you all and um, invite you to add your name in the chat box and where you're from so that we have a good understanding of where you are. But this is predominantly uh, aimed at our civil society network members in Africa that are Anglophone, so from West, Central and East Africa, I believe as we have carried out a consultation with our Asian colleagues and we'll be doing the same in French and Spanish next week. So uh, the aim of this call is to present you the campaign that we have launched in December, so just uh, two months ago on the anniversary of the Nutrition for Growth Summit that was in Japan. And as you know, many commitments towards nutrition were made during that summit, but also during the Year of Action for Nutrition in 2021 now. And what we want to do now that we have gathered so much momentum on nutrition, so many commitments from different stakeholders, is that we want to hold them and ourselves indeed to account uh, for the commitments made. There are multiple ways for doing that, but we thought a global campaign as a, as a network of 4,000 organizations would be absolutely amazing and would really showcase the work that is being done at local, national, regional, and global level um, to make noise, uh, to place nutrition on the agenda, to hold leaders to account, and um, to see ultimately progress on nutrition commitments. I see a hand is up, Finian. Is that a mistake or did you want to take the floor? Okay, maybe it was a mistake, but I'll start good. That's a good reminder for me um, to say that I will be presenting the campaign and the toolkit, but then I want to hear from you on how to uh, translate the campaign at your level, according to your capacity, according to your needs. So it's really aimed to be a consultation. So after a short presentation, uh, I will give you the floor directly as I want to hear from you. Um, okay, so I suggest we start it unless there are any questions on the sound, on the technicality or the, the format of the meeting. Please feel free to 
write in the chat. My colleagues can monitor the chat and or uh, raise your hand if uh, I'm going too quickly or if you want me to, to pause to ask a question. Otherwise, we'll leave plenty of time at the end for questions. All right. So I will now share my screen. I hope you can all see that. So this is the toolkit and I sent um, the link in the chat box for you to engage in this campaign. So this campaign is meant to be a grassroots campaign um, based on evidence, based on data that we have at the, the local uh, and the national and the global level indeed. So it's really based on, on evidence and we want to provide the tools, the guidance, um, and, and the supports that you need, and ultimately to amplify the results of your campaign at your level. Uh, but ultimately, it is you, um, civil society organizations, civil society alliances, who are going to run with it and implement it. So I really want you to, to own it and to tell me how you want to shape it. So this is what the toolkit looks like. So there's a contents table um, with a bit of an intro about uh, the, the campaign. Uh, what is it? Who is it for? How we can support? And then uh, maybe the most important for you is what to do about this campaign. What are the activities? So I'll skip the introduction because I already mentioned uh, that. Um, I'll tell you a bit about the scope of the campaign through this um, little drawing. So it's a campaign in three steps. The first one is to enable citizen engagement. So that's typically about um, understanding and knowing your rights and knowing the commitments that your country um, have made. The second stage called engagement via community gathering is where we want you to broker a dialogue with your government and other partners to talk about the commitments, to talk about um, what has been promised uh, to you citizens, to your communities, the, to the communities that you work with and, and show the reality against the commitments made. And the third step is about improving services and influencing policy. So really scaling up the data, the evidence that you, you will have gathered at the, at the local level to influence policies to influence decisions and um, ultimately to have results on the, the commitments that were made. <clears throat> and this is exactly, so these are the steps. Uh, these are the activities that you can do as a civil society organization and or alliance. So the first step is to have your advocacy messages ready at the right time. The second one is around collecting data, then holding citizen hearings, then populating scorecards, and then telling your story about these results, and then amplifying those um, on social media and beyond. So I'll go a little bit in, in detail um, of all these. So first, your advocacy messages. These will be very different from one context to another, but we have provided here some key advocacy messages that you can use, that you can tailor, uh, change according to your context and according to, you know, the, the, the events, the milestones, the opportunities that you have, these will change. But I hope that these give you a good um, background to start with. Then the second point is around collecting the data. So many of you uh, will know, some of you might not, uh, where to find the commitments made by your country. So here we have provided links to um, the Global Nutrition Reports country profiles. If you click on that link, um, you can select uh, your country. Actually, I can try to do this with you. I managed to move this. Oops. I knew this don't, would not work. Okay. Um, so if you go here, Sorry, I have so many windows open. You can choose your country by clicking on the continent. So here you have Africa, then you select 
Eastern Africa. I think that's where most of you are from. And then you select your country. So let's go to Kenya, for example. You will see in this country nutrition profile, the, the assessment, the status of nutrition in, in Kenya and whether the country is on course, is off track or is making good progress. And you have really nice icons here uh, to explain uh, where your country is at. So, I, and this is available for all the countries. So I suggest you went through those. And then of course you can review the national nutrition action plans that most of you can, your countries will have. And then as a third step, you can review the commitments made by different stakeholders. So your government, but also civil society, private sector, et cetera, in the NAF commitment tracker. So NAF is the nutrition accountability framework, again, by selecting your country. So I hope you can still see my screen. Um, so here you're in the nutrition accountability framework. You type, um, let's change countries, Djibouti. Wrong examples, there are no results. <laughs> Sorry, let's take Ethiopia. Okay, so in Ethiopia, many commitments were made. Um, from civil society organization, private sector, if you scroll down, you'll find donor government, etc. And when you click on these, you will find more details about the commitments that were made. So I suggest, again, you went uh, through those commitments to understand, um, to have a global picture, picture of uh, the pledges that were made towards nutrition from different stakeholders. Then in the toolkit, we've also provided a, a letter template that you can use to request a meeting with your government and local authorities uh, to discuss what has been promised and how you, how, how you civil society, uh, can uh, work together with the government in holding them accountable. Okay, then the next phase, once you have gathered the data, is to hold citizens hearings. So these hearings are meetings between you, the communities, and uh, the, the government to address the failures in the delivery of uh, the commitments or the services that were promised to you. These are meant to be non-confrontational. So it's not about naming and shaming your government. It's about collaborating with the government to, um, to fill in those gaps, to understand why some commitments are not being delivered. Why, for example, they have promised um, nutritious meals in all the schools in, in the community, but in fact, they are children are receiving only one nutritious meal a week, or perhaps they are receiving meals every day, but they are not nutritious. So you can talk about that during those citizen hearings. And we explain how to organize those hearings, so how to develop your objectives, um, how to identify your chair, the panel, whatever evidence to bring, uh, how can you promote uh, the results of the citizen hearings, what to discuss during those meetings. And these can be done, they can be very big or very small, they can be done at the village level with children and young people and um, religious leaders, uh, whomever is important as your stakeholder um, in, in this forum, or can be done at the national level, if you have the space uh, to engage with your, your national government. So it is really up to you to decide who you want to invite according to who you want to influence. And then once you have done these, um, what we'd love to, to do is for you to share, um, share what has happened during those citizen hearings by filling out a short form. It's not long, it's just to, to know what results um, were, were accomplished, and you can also feel free to share some pictures or some short videos uh, that, we can, uh, that we can compile. And the idea is that once we have gathered all these pictures, all these results from around the world, we will compile these into a global video and showcase it, um, showcase the results at a global event before the next Nutrition for Growth Summit hosted in France. 
likely next year, could be 2025, but we have the whole year to run this campaign really. Um, just to say that this, it sounds like a lot of work, but it is something I have seen when I was working on maternal, newborn and child health. Uh, we were working in collaboration with different organizations and the, the citizen hearings were organized in over 80 countries. And there, you can imagine the end result was absolutely stunning. And we brought the results to the World Health Assembly in Geneva and bringing people from, from the communities, young people who had engaged in the hearings. And um, it was both uplifting and impactful as well um, to have community bringing about raising their voices in a global forum, um, showcasing the, the power of accountability. <clears throat> then the next step after the hearings or in parallel with the hearings, you can also populate some scorecards. So scorecards are um, used by, by civil society and, and other actors to comment on, on progress against commitments. And you can use local level scorecards with indicators that you choose yourself according to what you want to analyze, or they can be national level scorecards. And we have provided an example of both. So if you scroll down, you can find um, a template of the local scorecard. I'll try to show it to you, here you go. So that you can use in your meeting with communities. Um, so you add the, the details and you can adapt this scorecard, of, of course. And here you indicate your, what you want to analyze. So as I said, if you want to analyze if there are school meals um, in, in the, the, the village, the community you are working in, uh, you can indicate here whether they are uh, daily or whether they are nutrition and uh, you can ask citizens to rate. Um, the service with a with a smiley face. And if you if you're not sure of what indicator to use, we have provided some examples here of quantitative data indicators or qualitative ones. Uh, for example, the number of trade trained breastfeeding consultants available in the healthcare center, and you can assess that with your community, and they can tell you um, the reality. So these are, these are the local scorecards, but if you are organizing a national hearing and are engaging with uh, the, the national level government, you can uh, also use this national scorecard template, which I will show you now, which looks like, like this. So you can download this file and we have given examples in each uh, region. So if we take Tanzania, for example, that is the information that you will find in the nutrition accountability framework I showed you before, where you see the, the commitments that were made at the national level with statistics, for example, uh, reduce the, the prevalence of anemia among women from 28% to 23%. So this is a concrete goal that the government of Tanzania has made by 2026, and you can assess that uh, against their criteria uh, in the in the fourth column. Don't worry, this is a this is a lot of information, but I will pause for for questions afterwards. And again, once you have populated these scorecards, we ask you to upload these uh, by clicking on this box. Then. So at the end of your campaign, or as you run through the campaign, we want to hear from you, of course, we want to amplify the stories. And we want to add um, the progress or the results that you have made on this world map. So the idea is uh, to have country case studies from all around the world uh, and upload them on this, uh, on this world map that will be on our website. We already have some examples. So if you click on it, uh, you can see what has happened in Tanzania. How did civil society work with parliamentarians to hold their leaders to account, etc. Okay. 
And then uh, we will amplify your stories on social media uh, and we'll keep populating um, this the social media assets as we go through the campaign so that you can share the results if you are active on social media. Um, I think I'll stop here. I've got ideas on uh, the next steps, which I want to share with you. But as I threw a lot of information at you, I'd like to I'd like for us to take a, a break and, and discuss what you have understood, uh, what questions you have for me and um, how we could help you tailor this campaign according to your national context and needs. So I'll stop sharing for now. I'll also have a look at the chat. Uh, please feel free to raise your hand if you have a question. I think that's the easiest. And as you raise your hands, I will have a look at the chat as well. Okay, I don't think there are any questions. It's mainly introductions. Okay. Are there any questions? You can also feel free to unmute yourself as it's a small group. Does that campaign sound feasible at your level? Are you, first, maybe the first question is, are you engaged in, in mm -hmm. advocacy towards accountability? Yes. Yes, Yvonne. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for, for our national um, CSAs to, to speak first before. But then when I when I when you wanted to ask your question, I thought maybe uh, um, I just uh, jump in. Thank just you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for, for, for um, that presentation. It's uh, it's clear at my level, but um, I should admit I haven't um, gone through the NFA <laughs> tracker in a while. Um, and you know, as a matter of fact, when we are launching campaigns, we have to be as um, concrete as possible with um, our arguments and evidences and all of that. I'm not sure you were going through it was quite fast, but I understand because we'll have um, enough time. Uh, I don't remember if all of the countries, well, I didn't go through all of the countries, um, um, made commitments with timeframes. I don't know if you see what I mean, like um, by 2022, 2023, because then it's easier for us to say, okay, one year later, two years later, um, where are you at? So that's also very important because, you know, we don't just want to go up and say, oh, hey, you said um, you commit to this, that and that, but then maybe hold accountable. And it's very, very, very important. Now, one year later, I think one year later, things should have been done, uh, be it at country level governments, um, decision makers, but also civil society. So, um, yes, I don't know if you, you took the time to, to go through all the countries, but I'm not sure about that, to see if there were, you know, like um, specific and clear timeframes to uh, uh, made, made by, by governments, uh, but as well as civil society. So that, that, that was, that's my question, just really uh, simple, but yeah, it, it is important for when we carry our campaigns as well. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Yvonne. Um, yes, indeed there is a set time frame for all the commitments because the global nutrition report asked us to make smart commitments um, so they were no dates were included in the time frame they made sure to get back to us to, um, um, commitment makers to add a date so you will in principle always find a date next to the commitment made in general, they are around 2025 because they're aligned with the World Health Assembly targets. But some have made closer commitments and some slightly further. Um, but yeah, always in the time frame of the World Health Assembly targets or sometimes sustainable development goals by 2030. So I hope that answers your question, Yvonne. Um, there's also, uh, so yeah, two, two other things I want to say. There's also the, the Global Nutrition Report issued their global report um, just a month ago, I believe, um, indicating the progress 
against commitments made. And they will from then on be issuing some country, I can't remember how they call it, country profiles, I think, um, which will resemble like country case studies on the progress of uh, commitments, which will be really interesting for us to, to look at. Uh, Israel, I see there's a question in the chat. The president as well. As part of the next steps, will there be training to Sun Society organizations to run this campaign locally? So training per se, not directly, but we can so throughout the year, as we start collecting um, questions, information, and results from the organizations that are running with the campaign we can organize a series of calls to exchange um, ideas. So what we're thinking is um, having maybe a webinar in, in a couple of months time where countries that have started the campaign can share their experience with others that are about to start to share their, their experiences, to share how um, the, the challenges that they have faced, the successes, uh, the tips on how to, to organize hearings or populate the scorecards. So this is something that, that we can do. We also thought that we could form some kind of working group or community of practice, whatever we call it, to exchange those ideas via email and engage in a meeting if we need to. And we will also have some country case studies um, uh, from those alliances that will have started the campaign that we will showcase in our newsletter every month. So we'll have a spotlight on one country every month with the results um, that they have achieved or the challenges that they're facing. It doesn't have to be always positive. We can talk about failures, of course. Um, so I hope these will help. And of course, if you're absolutely stuck in organizing uh, your campaign at the at the national and local level, we can have a one to one call. Um, so your country focal point in the secretariat can help you directly um, start this campaign. I hope that answers your your question. And then Finian, the content and the strategies are very clear and are feasible for implementation at national level. Excellent. Well, that's great to hear. And of course, you will need a bit of time to digest uh, the information in the toolkit. What I did want to say is that this toolkit is not um, is not set in stone. If you feel like there are things missing, uh, we can add information. If you think some things are not clear, please do let, let, let us know. Um, it's a living document so we can edit it. For example, when we had the call with Asia, with our Asian colleagues, they said we would like to see a calendar of opportunities. Uh, so we will be adding those key dates, those key milestones um, this year and the next, if, um, if you want to organize your hearings according a specific date. Yes, please. Uh, Abdi Salam, please do correct me if I'm not saying your pronouncing your word correctly. Good, good, good afternoon, uh, all of you. Thank you for letting to the floor. Uh, my name is Abdi Salam. I'm from the Sun Civil Society Somalia. Sorry to be late. Uh, I think uh, I was uh, lately joined uh, your pers beautiful presentation, and really this uh, good uh, thing. Uh, and really this uh, campaign for national level is very important for in terms of nutrition, uh, uh, upgrading and scaling up nutrition. And really we are in the midst of uh, our campaign already. And uh, really this uh, presentation as I heard uh, lately join it, uh, really this is a very beautiful and uh, uh, for, for your presentation, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your feedback, Abdi Salan. It means a lot. And I'm really glad that you have started with the campaign. Do you want to tell us a bit more about how you have started, how you have engaged with your government or other actors? Uh, uh, really, uh, so, so far we have, we have 
engage at a lot of uh, institutions is uh, as uh, nutrition is sometimes is a cross cutting issues. Uh, we have already communicated with the uh, uh, federal parliament of department of nutrition, and also we have engaged at uh, minister of agriculture. Also, we have engaged a minister of health. And also we are planning to engage other uh, institutions, which is uh, very important to the, to the campaign. That's excellent. Well, we look forward to hearing about the, the, the results um, when they come out. And that reminds me of, I, I don't know if I said it clearly enough, but this is this toolkit that I'm presenting is a guidance, right? You absolutely don't need to follow it strictly. You can you use elements of it, you can use some templates, you can adapt everything, the messages, the templates for the scorecard, the guidance for the citizen hearings, but ultimately you know better what works in your context. You know better your, your stakeholders um, and the actors that you want to, to engage and influence. So please feel free to pick and choose and adapt. And if there are, some tools and guidance or tips that you want to share with others, um, please do let us know and we can form, as I said, this, this group where we can share those tips if some of you are interested. Um, absolutely, thank you. Uh, uh, I want to also to take, uh, to take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, you know, when, when you're doing something or some campaign is, is uh, uh, there is some challenges sometimes you may face, uh, and really we have a lot of uh, challenges. That's uh, one of the most important is uh, uh, is fund. Uh, the other is uh, in terms of security. Sometimes because uh, uh, no, there are some places that you, you can't. Sometimes you can't go with uh, without uh, without security checkup. So we. Have to, uh, we, we are just dealing with uh, some issues and, and the government, uh, we are thinking uh, they are just giving a hand for helping in terms of sometimes security and other things. But the main challenges we are having is uh, those uh, and, and we, 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 we want to have more engaged with that. <clears throat> sorry, we want to have more engaged with uh, uh, this uh, campaign to just be uh, 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 our big one. Uh, we, we can be uh, 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 rigid all uh, uh, is, uh, and, and all through all the country. So that's the only way. Sometimes you can, you want to have a number of uh, uh, trained uh, uh, people or who, who, who is uh, very, uh, who, who is going to take part of this uh, campaign. So all these things uh, need to be have uh, some, uh, uh, fund is or, or, or training or awareness sometimes to be more to be more engaged or more influenced uh, for for this campaign. So that's what I'm going. Okay. Sorry, you went on on mute, but I think I I understood. It was breaking a little bit, but yes, indeed, we are well aware that the the, the funding remains a huge challenge. Uh, for, for most of our civil society alliances, uh, not strictly in, in um, Anglophone Africa, but more generally around the globe. We are well aware of this. And that's why we're offering some tools that are tools of a campaign that are hopefully cost efficient, that do not require a lot of funding um, to engage in a, in a meeting, uh, uh, to, to populate some 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 scorecards some documents um of course gathering people can require some funding if you are to provide some um <clears throat> some some food and beverage so we are well aware of that and that's why we said please do tailor the campaign according to to capacity and needs if in your alliance uh, you you have some organizations that have little time but per, but perhaps can provide some materials some equipment or just um, some drinks on the day. Maybe you can all work together as an alliance and bringing one thing to the table that will make the citizen hearing a success. 
Um, it's all about working together um, in in the alliance and all contributing according to your to your needs. Um, yes, but we do we do acknowledge that um, some advocacy work requires a, a bit of funding, but hopefully you you will be able to organize some activities with very limited funding for 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 more results. Is there another question or comment or suggestion on how we could help you um, tailor the campaign, run with the campaign, where to find the data, how to help you amplify it as well? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, oh, oh. A lot of materials or things that or uh, that that can be uh, take part of and that can make it very easy for campaign, uh, and we can uh, even show you by if it, if it is by email even we can share with you. Please do. So we would really love to 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 add to the world map that I was uh, showing. Uh, the, the results of accountability, the tips that you have on, on how to hold um, commitment makers to account. We want to see, yes, examples from, from around the world that we can share on social media, in our newsletters, um, that we can share with the, the, the global sun movement as well, so that other, other networks um, are aware of what is being done and how civil society and young people are leading the way. Uh, speaking of young people, I think, Sean, you mentioned that we had some youth coordinators on the call. I don't know if um, anyone would like to introduce themselves or say how they feel about the campaign, how they think this campaign can be adapted for young people as well. Yes, that, that's, that's very good. That's very good because uh, uh, when it comes in campaign, uh, uh, social media and uh, all other uh, platforms that's uh, 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 that's very accessible for the world community and other uh, um, regional uh, to be here at, at the, the, the the whole uh, the campaign whole across the country and on um, the rest of the world that's good and if you can give us hand that's more. Uh, more preferable that we just got. That sound is good. Excellent. Would anyone like me to go through something uh, from the toolkit in particular, something that I went too quickly on? Something you'd like more information on? Anna, please. Anna, are you able to unmute yourself? I'm afraid I can't do it for you. Anna, if you're not able to unmute yourself, feel free to write in the chat. At the bottom, you'll see uh, the chat function. Okay, well, I don't want to use up too much of your time if there are no questions, but I have pasted um, the link to the campaign toolkit in the chat box. I will be sending it over email again. I will also um, ask in the email if anyone is interested in joining that little group um, to share experiences, challenges, tips, or just to talk about accountability more generally and how to make accountability a bit more popular. It is uh, sometimes a scary word, but in fact, it just means uh, being responsible for the commitments that we have made. Uh, we Secretariat uh, have made commitments ourselves and we will be sharing a blog in a few months time about the progress um, to show that we are also accountable. I also wanted to say that we are currently reviewing all the annual surveys that you have submitted on behalf of your Civil Society Alliance. 
and some of you have indicated progress on your nutrition for growth uh, commitments. Uh, so we will be tracking these and uh, documenting these as well to showcase the progress made by civil society. Oh, Anna, I'm sorry, I, I was unable to mute. Someone asked about the youth. Yes, I'm one of them. I'm representing Uganda. Well, very warm welcome, Anna. We're very pleased to have you join uh, this meeting. Um, I'm not sure whether you were there from the start, but I presented the, the campaign toolkit on accountability for nutrition. If there's anything you would like me to go through with you um, in a one-to-one, -one, I'm happy to, to do that or to have a call with the, with the youth coordinators. And I'm sorry you're not able to unmute yourself. I tried to do it myself, but I don't seem to be able to have the function either. Okay, unless there are any questions, I'm happy to close the meeting now. Uh, but feel free to reach out to me. I'll actually I'll write my email in the chat box. You can reach out directly and I'll be following up with, a, with an email uh, on the next suggested steps. Okay, well, have a lovely day, everyone. And uh, we really hope to, to be able to add your, add your examples to the world map uh, very soon. Thank you for your participation. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Thank you Bye. very much. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.